Travel Robot Presence Top 10 Things to Do in Hungary Hungary has a fascinating history, and the country is full of rich and varied cultural traditions. Ever since the country emerged from the shadows of communism at the end of the 1980s, it has been a popular destination with travelers. With a mixture of natural, historical, and cultural sites to visit, tourists are certain to be able to find something to pique their interest. Let's get down to business. I will also provide you with a suggested route that will cover all the top things to do in Hungary, as well as a few final travel tips. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell icon for more wonderful videos. Number 1. Great Market Hall, Budapest Although there are thousands of markets in Hungary, the Grand Market Hall in Budapest is probably the most well-known of them all. This multi-story market is situated in an impressive neo-Gothic building, close to the banks of the Danube. Inside, you will find local farmers and traders selling a huge variety of produce. As a rule, you will find fresh fruit and vegetables, and meats on the ground floor, touristic souvenirs, including Hungarian chess sets, and cafes in the upper floors, and fresh fish and miscellaneous shops in the basement although many visitors prefer to just get lost in the hustle and bustle of the market. The market is open every day except Sundays. Number 2. Doheny Street Synagogue, Budapest The Doheny Street Synagogue in Budapest is one of the largest synagogues in the world outside of Israel. The original synagogue was bombed and appropriated by Nazi Germany during World War II, and the synagogue was only formally restored during the 1990s. Visit the garden to see the beautiful silver weeping willow memorial, whose leaves bear the names of some of Budapest's deceased or missing Jewish population. You will also find a touching memorial to Swedish diplomat Ruhl Wallenberg, who saved the lives of hundreds of Hungarian Jews during World War II. Large bags are not allowed in the synagogue and small bags may be searched on entry, so it is worth bearing this in mind when you are planning your visit. Number 3. Cave Bath, Miskultapolka the cave bath at Miskolta Polka is a must-see attraction for anyone who enjoys relaxation and pampering. This thermal spa bath is located in a natural cave system, which can only be explored by wading in. The water, which is rich in minerals and sits at a constant temperature of 30 C, is reportedly good for the health. The thermal waters here have been drawing in visitors since the 17th century but they only gained widespread popularity after a new bathing complex was opened in the 1940s. As well as a variety of different pools, there are also spa treatments available on site. In 1743, the spa's first building was made out of wood in Miskultapolka, rebuilt for the first time in 1837, then officially recognized as a leisure center in 1934. Its first caves were built in 1959 and progressively extended until 2005 to reach the current configuration, unusual and labyrinthine. The spa of Miskultapolka, located in a cave above natural underground hot springs, is unique in Europe. The water temperature of 30 degrees Celsius and the particular climate inside the cavern have a curative power, especially on joint diseases and inflammation. Number 4. Lake Balaton Lake Balaton is Central Europe's largest lake, and is one of the country's top tourist attractions. During the summer season, the majority of Hungarian families will try to take a trip out to the lake to spend a few days enjoying the hot, summer sun by its shores. Attractions include swimming, fishing, and sailing on the lake. If you don't have your own boat, there are plenty of places to hire small vessels for a reasonable price. During the winter, visitors to the lake can go skating or ice fishing. Lake Balaton largest lake of Central Europe, located in central Hungary about 50 miles, 80 kilometers, southwest of Budapest. It has an area of 231 square miles, 598 square km, and extends for 48 miles, 77 kilometers, along the southern foothills of the Bacchany Mountains of Hungary. At its widest point, Lake Balaton measures about 9 miles, 14 kilometers, across. Its maximum depth is 37 feet, 11 meters. The Zala River provides the largest inflow of water. Water outflow is through the sluice gates of Siufak, toward the eastern end of the lake, 
and the entire contents of the lake are replenished about every two years. The bed of the Baladin is relatively young. It was formed less than one million years ago. Originally, there were five small lakes that extended in a north-south chain. But these coalesced when erosion broke down the dividing ridges. Traces of these former lakes can still be seen in the configuration of Lake Balaton today and the Tehani Peninsula, which projects from the northern shore, narrowing the lake to a width of one mile, 1.6 kilometers, is the remnant of one of the dividing ridges. Number 5. Busojers, Moks. The Busojers festival takes place in the six days leading up to Ash Wednesday. The townsfolk dress up in traditional masks with demonic faces and then parade through the town. Depending on who you listen to, this tradition either stemmed from a historic attempt to scare away invaders, or it is part of the pagan tradition of scaring away winter. As well as a wide array of unusual masks, you will also be able to enjoy traditional folk music and local delicacies. The festival moves according to the date of Easter, so make sure that you check dates and advances in many other parts of the world. Hungary also has a long tradition of chasing away winter and ushering in spring, and there are many customs and beliefs associated with this tradition. The Busojers, Buso walking, of Mohix is one of the most important and most well-known such customs, and is included on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Number 6. Danube River Cruise For centuries, the Danube has been considered to be the lifeblood of Hungary, and many of the other states in Central and Eastern Europe. Taking a cruise along the Danube is a fantastic way to see many of the best sights from a different perspective. Whether you choose to take a stunning night cruise through Budapest, or whether you choose a longer all-day cruise around the Danube Bend, taking in Visegrad, Estergum, and Centendri, you marvel at what you can see from your boat. Crews run almost every single day of the year, and boat companies can be found along the banks of the Danube. Number 7. Eager Wine Region Although Hungary is most famous for its sweet dessert wines from Tokaj, you should not miss out on a visit to the Eger wine region. In the region you will find a large number of vineyards and wine cellars where you can sample the local wares. The Bull's Blood variety comes highly recommended. In a bid to boost tourism, many cellars put on special wine-tasting nights where visitors can enjoy traditional foods and dancing, as well as trips into the cask cellars. Number 8. Mosque of Pasha Kusum, Pax. This fantastic building was originally erected in the latter half of the 16th century, whilst the country was under the control of the Ottoman Empire. Although it was designed as a mosque, the minaret was removed from the building by Jesuits in 1766. It is now in use as a Roman Catholic church. It is one of the finest examples of Turkish architecture in the whole country. Despite its current use, it is still possible to see inscriptions from the Koran in certain sections of the building. The Christian symbolism in the church is also well worth looking at. Number 9. Hungarian Parliament Building, Budapest The Hungarian Parliament Building is an amazing example of the Gothic Revival style of architecture. Sitting on the banks of the Danube, the building is currently the largest in Hungary and the tallest in Budapest. Hundreds of spires and arches sit around an impressive central dome, which looks out across a large square, where political rallies often take place. Thanks to creative lighting, the building looks even more impressive at night. Tours around sections of the interior run daily and are available in a wide variety of different languages. Number 10. Godullo Palace the magnificent Godullo Palace was originally built in the 18th century as a home for an aristocratic Hungarian family. When the last member of the family died in the mid-19th century, the palace was bought by royalty. Franz Joseph I, the ruler of Austro-Hungary, and his wife Elizabeth, also known as Sizi, used to spend every summer at the palace. During the communist era, much of the building fell into disrepair although some wings were used as an old people's home during this time. Restoration work has since been completed, and the palace has now reopened to visitors. If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos. And if you like it please smash the like button, and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. If you have further questions, feel free to comment down below. See you in the next video.